Here on BBC One now, she's got a severe dose of pre-wedding nerves. That's right. You want to skip the wedding so we can go to Leeds for a day. Leeds Castle. Don't you remember? Near Maidstone. Oh, is that the state of home? That's the one. Where we went. That's right. How many years ago is that now? And I've never been back. We I mean, had such a lovely time. Yeah. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh, damn. Can't bear waste. Just saving it for later till it dries out. What's the problem? Oh. Still having trouble? I need jokes. Mm, don't look at me. You can't have a best man speech without jokes. All right. Why the chicken cross the road? I'm serious. To get away from Simon's dad's wedding. Oh, ha ha. What have you got so far? Oh. I don't know where to begin. Well, you have to tell stories, don't you? Funny stories. What did your dad used to do with you when you were a kid? Hit me. Come on. I've heard you going on about how wonderful everything was when we lived out in Essex. Yeah, but that's when Mum was living with us. Well, there you go, then. It'll be a first or best man speech. Funny stories about the bride's predecessor. Shouldn't have expected any help off you, should I? Stop panicking. You've got all day. Well, that's the old point. I've got to go to this rehearsal at 11, and that could go on for hours. Hmm. Let's leave you to it, then. Well, where are you going? Um, just popping out for a bit. See you later. You what? I'm going to the wedding. May I ask why? I've been invited. Yeah, but you'll lose a whole day's takings. Money isn't everything. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Dad, the problem with you is you have no spirit of romance. Uh, have you had a personality transplant over the weekend or something? Well, I thought you'd be pleased. We can go as a family. Ah. What does that mean? Well, I'm not going now. I need your mum. Oh, why? Well... She's not feeling too well, and uh, since I've already put the day off, uh, we're talking about going away for the day together. Well, are you going to say anything before you'd be pleased? Yeah, sure. Was that it? Oh, apparently. All oh, right. See you later. <laughs> are we to understand from that that it worked? Luck and dream, mate. Here's that dog a bit. <laughs> I thought she was going up the cash and carry. Do I have to do everything round here? Just once without complaining, please. So, you got no food over your house, then? Well, I thought we'd change the scene. Might provide a bit of inspiration. Oh, yeah? Well, my sermon for Irene and Terry's wedding on Saturday. Huh, sounds like a challenge. Well, I've tried to make every wedding a bit different, personal to the bride and groom. I hate trying to make glib platitudes. But this time? Well, what can I say about Terry? That he's a gambler and he drinks too much. You're right. I think I'll stick to glib platitudes. I don't suppose I'm um, heard from Kathy at all. Not since I last spoke to you. Well, I sent her a card last week. It, it's her birthday today, in fact. I have no idea. Hi. Might catch you later. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's because I'm in love. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I took your advice and it was wonderful. Just amazing and I'm so happy. Thank you. Mm, what have you got to thank me for? Well, I would never have gone through with it if it hadn't been for you. Isn't being in love just the most fantastic feeling in all the world? Morning, Dad. Is she always like that, or is it just when I'm around? Right. Bianca. Not too hot on the old manners, is she? Why does she always seem to be in such a strop? Oh, I've given up trying to work it out, Dad. So it's me, then, is it? No. Well, she was like that before you arrived. You know what, son? I'm worried about you. Who wears the trousers round here? I should be a work on her. So there's nothing going on that I should know about, then? She can be a moody cad, Dad. I learned that before I married her. I see we're always hard at it over the car lot. Like. Still trying to make a go of it, is he? Oh, better not to ask. Oh, barely. No, I'll catch you later, all right? Yeah. Are you going to do any work at all today? Where is Teresa off to this morning? Getting a new outfit for this wedding tomorrow. And who's going to pay for that? Oh, tell me some meat. Oh, no. 
I was beginning to think we'd lost it. And it turns out it was with that rubbish out the back. You put it there, I wonder. A stupid thing to do. Oh, I only pray it's still working. Bruno. Now, all I need are my records and a box of needles. Nice try, Mum. I should have thrown it on that skip that was parked over the road last week. I meant to, only I just forgot. I shall have to tell him. Morning. Did you catch any criminals last night? Oh, no. Afraid so. I thought Mum had thrown it out. So did she. Guess what? What? Well, that Matthew kid's only gone to school with St. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That old ring trick works every time. Yeah, when you got the courage to use it. What's that supposed to mean? Were you and Guy the gorillas, missus? How can I use the ring trick on Tiffany? She's already married. Well, you've got to do something. Because haven't you got a lovely voice? Didn't exactly make her go belly up. Give me time. All I'm saying is, if you won't, then I will. That's what we agreed. Anything for me? Oh, oh sorry, darling. You wait for a letter from Grant and you wait forever. Yeah, well, he could have at least phoned me. He knows what I'll say to him when he does, that's why. I feel so taken for granted. Oh, why do you go along to the rehearsal of your dad's wedding? Maybe that'll cheer you up. Oh, yeah, lovely. I've got it sorted with the florist. They're delivering separately now. Right. Pleased? Ecstatic. What's eating you? I can't believe what a fool you were not to think about it in the first place. All right, I made a mistake. It's not the end of the world. What's that you got there? Carl from Ted. Blimey. I think this is a way of trying to be funny. <laughs> I'll wait forever before I get one of these from Louise. Are you planning to go to this rehearsal dressed like that? Well, it's only a rehearsal. I'll do it alone. All right, if it'll make you feel better, I'll change. OK? Ooh, what's the score with the hemline? I'm not having one. What? A bit too long in the tooth for that these days. Oh, come on. I'm not trying to stop you. You go off and do whatever you have to. I won't ask questions. Look, I can cancel if you want. We could stay in together. No, you go off and enjoy yourself. I know you're nervous about the wedding. So am I. Chances like this don't come along very often at our age. We'll be happy. You'll see. I'll go and get changed for this rehearsal then. Shall I? Morning. I just gotta to go to the cash and carry. Only be about 20 minutes. I'll see you in a bit. Where have you been? Why? What did you imagine? Don't, Chris, please. I need help here. There you go. Now, if that doesn't solve the problem, I don't know what will. And I thought you just walked out on me. Well, you're learning, aren't you? Hi. Oh, hello there. I'm looking for Lenny. Oh, you won't find him in there. Well, if he's not, I'll be very annoyed. You got any belated birthday cards, Neelam? Belated? You know, sorry I miss your birthday, that sort of thing. Oh, it's awful when that happens, isn't it? Over there in the corner. All set for the wedding of the year? Huh? Oh, yeah. Rather you than me, mate. I'm glad to be just a spectator. See you tomorrow. Thanks. You've got a bad memory. Why? I don't take milk. Oh, yeah, of course. Look, I'll, I'll change it. Don't bother. No, no, I remember now. Black, no sugar, right? That's how this whole mess started, isn't it? Did you invite me back for coffee? Yeah, well, it wasn't me who wanted to split in the first place. Are you saying you didn't give me good reason? <sighs> so why was you mate Hugh trying to give me the brush off just now? I don't know, he's just been an idiot. It's not on head off. He knew I was around. So he was trying to protect you from me, was he? Yeah, I guess. So you've told him? Well, the only person I've told is Bianca. Ex-girlfriend? Sort of. And what was the reaction? Well, yeah. You don't know how bad I feel about this. Huh? Yes, I do. Well, I've been to the clinic. Ten days, right? Yeah. And right now it seems like forever. Lenny, it's for you. Well, won't be safe. Cheers. Hello? I'm just down the road. I saw her go in. Is she with you now? Yep. Look, if you want to get rid of her, you can say that I'm your boss phoning or something. It's OK, Hugh. Everything's under control. Just stay cool. So why did you want to meet? Oh, I don't know. I just needed someone to talk to. I'm not going to be a shoulder to cry on. No, no, of course not. 
But if it turns out that we're both in the same boat, look, I can change it. It doesn't matter. I'll drink too much of it anyway. I do remember one thing. What's that? That's the reason I invited you back for coffee in the first place. And I remember why I dumped you and all. Sorry, habit. Well, it's a habit you're just going to have to start learning to break, isn't it? Um, can we get out of here? Why is that? I feel a bit hemmed in. Makes you feel better. No stopping him, then. He says that gramophone has been in the family restaurant since his daddy's time, and if it goes, he goes too, so what can you do? Sounds like a chance to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, man. Joke. You shall shut up and listen. Uh, what is it, no, no? None of you would be here now if it wasn't for this music. None of you. This old story. Well, I haven't heard it. You bought this record for Louisa, didn't you? It, go over to the house and get her now. I wanted to hear it. Come on, Johnny. Do as he says. And I've got pizza, though, to prepare. No, no, you're right. I don't know how many times I've heard this. It makes me cry every time. Peppercini, <laughs> man and butterfly. The man has gone away, you see, and she's longing for his return. Your grandmother didn't want to know me before I bought her this record. And afterwards, she couldn't get enough of me. <laughs> I defy anyone not to have a shiver run down their spine when they hear that. Ah, oh, the power of music. Like I said, none of you would be here now if it wasn't for this record. So this is a song that you reckon that can pull the birds, ain't on? Pull the bird? Don't mock. This means a lot to me. Can you still get hold of it? What do you mean, can you still get hold of it? Of course you can still get hold of it, stupid boy. Go into any record shop. Why do you ask? No reason. When did they leave? A couple of minutes ago. And where did they go? Back to the flat, I bet. I tell you, man, he's got to be bonking her. It's the only explanation. There's one way to find out for sure. Hey, hang on. I'm a pervert, all right, but I'm not that much of a pervert. Maybe they're just friends. Lenny, we know for a fact that he's already knocking off the anchor. Fact? You suggested it. How does that make it a fact? Bye. Take place. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. Well, she hasn't exactly rolled the red carpet out for me, either. You know what she's like? Well, uh, Ricky loves her, man. That's amazing. So what are you doing down here? Oh, it's up a few deals, darling, and I walk through and things like that. <laughs> I see we're still alive, I'll get over to Carl up. Yeah, well, he done a win to stop. How's it going? It's a struggle. Sweetheart, it was always going to be there. But you're looking well when that's all that counts with me. Well, I've said hello, I, uh, I better be off. Thanks for dropping by. And thank you for being so civilised. Maybe see you around while I'm here, eh? Yeah, maybe. Sorry we're not doing this in the church. The builders promised they'll be finished by now, but you know what they're like. Well, just so long as they're finished by Saturday. They've given me their word. Sarah, Simon, would you mind waiting in the hall for a sec? I just need a minute with the bride and groom. Are we going to get another pep talk? I was just wondering why you haven't made it to any of the communion services over the last couple of weeks. Why? You said we didn't have to turn up for the reading of the bands. I don't want us to get off on the wrong foot, but I need to remind you that you are getting married in the eyes of God. It's a solemn undertaking. Attending church, even if you're not regular attenders, is one way of acknowledging that. We did plan to come, but Irene's a big fan of Steve Wright's Sunday love songs on radio too. She won't get out of bed till it's over. I went out on a limb for you. It would have been nice to have that acknowledged. All right. We'll forget about it now. It just needed to be said. Let me run through the order of the service with you. I expect you to read this. Oh, yeah, it's what Mum wants. Love has no other desire but to fulfil itself. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful passage. Yeah, well, I'm sure it is a beautiful passage, but applied to my dad. So how are you getting on your best man speech? Mm, don't. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're doing it. If you've been left to Barry, it would have been all smutting in your end. Excuse ending. me? Barry? Well, yeah. When Tony dropped out, they asked Barry, but he said no, thank goodness. Uh, hang on. First it was Grant, then Tony, mm. then Barry, and now me. Is that it? Yeah, well, don't get offended. I don't believe it. We're ready to begin now. Irene, if you come through, we'll pretend this is the back of the church. Simon, would you like to join your dad? Oh, nerve, man. What's the matter? Treating me like a naughty schoolgirl has not done her homework. What on earth just seeing him? We'll go out for a spin in a minute, if you like. No rush.
Now, ain't that a good feeling? Good God. <laughs> I still love doing it, even today. Sold. That's what it's all about, I don't know. What are you doing down here? Oh, listen, that chance to see Ricky. I oh, see Pat over the cafe. She said you'd be here. So what do we do these days? Um, shake hands or what? Why not? Nice to see you. I must say, you're looking pretty well. Well, if you think well, you stay well. That's my motto. It's a good way of looking at it. Uh-huh. How's, uh, how's business? Well, I don't think there'd be any business if it wasn't for your loan last Christmas. Oh, turn it in, Roy. You're a survivor. Pat always knew how to pick them. Well, I'm, I'm glad we'd buried the hatchet. It was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Oh, well, she's, uh, she's a remarkable woman. You didn't expect me to give up without a fight now, did you? Well, I think you're a remarkable man. Oh, behave yourself. What, is this a loving? <laughs> Listen, I'm around for a few days. We'll have you see you. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll go over some It's incredible, isn't it? You wouldn't think that was a man with only a few months left to live. You got any opera? Say? Opera. You know, fat lady singing. Mm, not my strong part, I'm afraid. I'm after um, Madame Butterfly by Puccini. Jenny here tells me you got lucky. Shut up, yeah. Of course, that's just the easy bit. What do you mean? Getting the ring back. That's when it all gets a bit tricky. <laughs> <laughs> um, golden Opera. Oh, man. This is fate. It was meant to be. How much? Uh, 6 99 Cheaper the price. It will never work. Wait and see. I'll catch you later, yeah. What's with that, man? Never mind. Where are you off to? Is it to you? Because if you're meeting who I think you're meeting, and I want you to know I think it's a very bad idea. None of your business. You're my sister. And you're in my way! Mum wants you in the restaurant at 12. If you ain't now, I'm gonna come and get you. Don't talk to me about clap clinics. Yeah, all them blokes sitting in the row, avoiding each other's eyes. Each one secretly wondering what the other one's got. The chances are you haven't, you know. Yeah, that's what the doctor said. I mean, they're testing me for everything. Who knows what I could have. Listen, uh, do you mind if we cut through here? Why's that? Well, if we continue down there, we'll um, bump into someone I don't particularly want to see. Would that be a he or a she? <laughs> well, if you saw you with me now, it would just make things very difficult. I wonder why we went round the long way in the first place. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Look, um, thanks for being... What? Well, I mean, you could have given me a really hard time over this, and you haven't. Why should I take it out on you rather than any of the other men who have taken me for a mug? Oh, look, this is crazy. What is? Well, us meeting up again like this. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. No, but that's just it. I mean, that is just what's so crazy. I'm really glad we have. Even if it has to be like this. What are you saying? Nothing. Um, do you fancy a drink? Pubs open. Sure, why not? And don't worry, I don't think you're a monster. Grant to you, servants, that loving one another, that they may continue in their love until their lives end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, then everyone says amen. 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 Right, now at this stage you want the best man to give a reading. Well, do I have to do it now? Of course you have to do it now, that's the whole point of the rehearsal. Right, well, where do I go? There'll be a lectern to one side, but... OK. <clears throat> love has no other desire but to fulfil itself. If you love and must needs have desires, let these be your desires. Simon, to... darling, you've got the stress all wrong. The stress needs to be on these. Let these be your desires. Let these be your desires. <clears throat> to melt and be like a running brook that sings its melody to the night, to know the pain of too much tenderness, to be wounded by your own understanding of love and to bleed willingly and joyfully. Simon, love, you're, you're, you're going too fast. You've got your head stuck in the book. Now take your time and look up. Remember, this is a big church. People will be watching you. Think about what you're saying. I am thinking about what I'm saying. That's the old point. I beg your pardon? Well, if I'm that bad at it, why don't you get Barry Evans in? I'm told his speaking voice is just wonderful. Oh, is he throwing one of his tantrums again, for goodness sake? Or Tony. Or Grant Mitchell. In fact, anybody except me. Oh, Simon, don't be a prat. Sarah, Sarah come back. I knew it was a mistake asking him. I just knew it. So what do we do? Oh, don't worry about him. We'll, we'll work something out. If he won't change his mind, we'll get someone else. All right. Well, the seminar reading's just taken place. Now, at this stage, I think it's over to the organist who'll be playing... ..my way. My favourite song. I'm an Italian. Opera's in my blood. 
Puccini, Verdi, all those guys. I know I come across as a bit of a tough nut. I have to, it's my job. But when I sit down and listen to it, I forget who I am. I come across all sentimental and weak and romantic. Oh, crikey, I don't know the first thing about it. I think you'll like it too. That's why I got you the CD. Particularly um, track number 11. One Fine Day. Passionate music. Listen to it. Tell me what you think. Oh, I might just do that, huh? Look, um, I've got customers to serve. I better get on. That was quick. I need a drink. Have you got anything? Oh, sorry. Oh, great. What's happened now? I was if you care. Well, aren't you going to say anything? I thought I didn't care. I've pulled out. And don't ask me for details, because I'm too embarrassed to say. Hey, no speech. Tell me I can return this and get my money back. It's not funny. Oh, no pleasing some people. I wish my mum was here. Oh. I would pack it in. Temper, temper. But why don't you just go and pick someone up in a bar somewhere? Why do you wish your mum was here? Well, at least she understood me. And I don't. She never got a penny off Dad after she left him. <laughs> Who knows what she'd say if she knew it was happening. Well, fun if that's what you want to do. I'm not stopping you. Yeah, well, I haven't got the number for a start. There is something called director inquiries. Yeah, well, not while you're here. Go out and get some more beers. Yes, my master. Quivik? Where the hell have you been? We've been having kittens back here, wondering when we're going to get a call from you. No, I won't back off. You're a grown man with responsibilities. You just can't run away. She's upstairs, listening to opera. Yes, opera. Beppe DiMarco, give it to her. So, where do we go from here? We don't go anywhere. We just have to live with it. Listen, however it turns out... What? Well, the, the test. The chances are you'll probably be all right. Yeah, it'd be nice to know that we could still keep in touch. I mean, as friends. You know I'm not playing games, don't you? I think so. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's weird. What's weird? I suddenly feel like a grown-up. <laughs> Takes a bit of getting used to. There, now. What was I saying to you earlier on? Oi, I was listening to that. Didn't you hear the phone? It's Grant. Grant? Well, you've got a nerve. He gave me a CD. I don't know why, he just did. Me behave myself, you've got some front. What about you? Disappear off the face of the earth without so much as a word. Any chance of some service around here, please? Oh, like that old bad penny. Oh, come on, behave yourself, Peter. Life's too short, darling. Two pints of lager, please, Peter. Mm, I suppose so. Very gracious of you. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. All right, sir. Well, he calls himself a man of the world. Right, exactly. See, Lennon's got himself a new bird. Well, do we know it's his new bird? Oh, I saw him holding hands with her earlier on. Looked like it to me. Poor fool. Always the last to know, isn't he? All right, so Lenny's getting his leg over. Doesn't mean he's doing the same thing with Bianca. Hey, you don't know Lenny like I know Lenny. Bianca ain't the type. Well, would you say that Ricky's the type? Hey? Common knowledge, mate. He was having it away with his first wife while him and Bianca were engaged. You ask anyone. Hi, £3.90, please. What? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. Thank you. No, I've changed my mind about him completely. Really? Well, I had a bit of this when I had my heart attack. Nothing like a sense of your own mortality to make you reassess things. What are you saying? The man's dying. When you're faced with that, you've got to decide what is important. And all the petty squabbling and bickering, I mean, it seems somehow to be so unimportant all of a sudden. He was completely straight with me. I respected him for that. You know my brother disapproves of you. Oh, dear. That's a mark of approval in my book. You want it in the restaurant? It's not 12 o'clock. You want it in the restaurant. Better do as the man says. I'm watching you. Understand? Yeah. Tony, just the bloke. What's happened? We've lost Simon as best man. I'll see ya. Oh, don't be like that. <laughs> no chance. Well, what am I gonna do? Michael, let me get that for you. You know what they say? What do they say? Bad dress rehearsal, great first night. Really? No, I'm sure Tony will do it, seeing how desperate you are. And that's gonna make a difference, is it? 
Look, Mum, I know something's wrong, so why don't you just tell me? I'm going to need something a lot stronger than this. Oh, hi, Susan. You know the funniest thing? I was rooting through some drawers just now, and I came across this. What's that? It's a guidebook to Leeds Castle, from where we went all those years ago. Coincidence, eh? Means we're going to have to get one tomorrow now. Probably saved ourselves a fiver there. Michael? No, uh, something's come up. Um, Terry has got himself into a bit of a fix, and he's asked me to help him out. What's that, then? So, what's happened between you and Matthew, then? Matthew? Nothing. Why'd you ask? It's all right, darling. You're a teenager. You're supposed to have secrets. I bet you think the sun shines out of his backside, don't you? I don't get it. What's this got to do with you? I felt that about your dad once, believe it or not. So? So it doesn't last, believe me, I know. Well, you're not marrying my father. No. Well, <laughs> Terry's nothing like Dad. That's true. Your father was never a drinker. And he used to wear a shirt at the breakfast table. I had this moment this morning when I found myself looking at him and I thought, what am I doing? I'm just a lonely, middle-aged has-been who's terrified of growing old by herself. And I saw myself. Six months, a year from now, I knew I'd end up being so, so bored with him. Well, if that's how you feel, then, well, it's still not too late, you know. Then you'd be delighted, wouldn't you? I'm trying to help. Mm. Problem solved. I got myself a best man. Michael Rose. He couldn't have been more pleased, so I saw systems go for tomorrow. And is that a bottle I see before me? Ah. New comedy with Caroline Quentin starring in Kiss Me Kate in a moment here on BBC One. And no mere pottering about in the garden this, Ground Force pits our green-fingered brigade against the clock over on BBC Two in a couple of minutes. And you can join Adam Woodyatt, alias Ian Beale, for a one-hour online chat starting now on the Beeb internet site at www.beeb.com.